Sex workers, what is the worst request a client has given you? I haven't had too many bad experiences but I did get a pretty unique request. So I do online work, I had a guy sexting me one day who told me sponges turn him on. The word sponge, the smell of one, touching one, doing dishes, all of it. So we role played like I was washing dishes and I sent him a little video of me cleaning with a sponge like look how soapy and sudsy my sponge is getting, I'm trying to clean up but I'm just making such a mess and he ate that shit up. It's nice to get something completely brand new every once in a while, plus I was getting chores done at the same time. I sold foot pics slash videos slash Skype sessions a few years ago, before the market became absolutely flooded. I had a lot of people asking for me to stomp on small animals, bugs, mice, reptiles, etc. That's against my moral code, and icky, so I never did it but even if I was willing to do it they wouldn't pay very much for it. Also saw some messages from a friend I made in the business where some French dude asked her to cut off a toe and sell it to him, so he could eat it. Not sure if he was just trolling but honestly I would not be surprised if he was serious. Or of course there's the people who asked if I had any naughty photos of myself from before I turned 18. So I have a genuine fear of balloons. I've posted about it jokingly online, but for the most part it's not widely known. A man messaged me a few months back asking for feet pictures, and I was super excited that it had finally happened to me. Turns out, he is a foot fetish but he's also a loner. He has a balloon fetish. I thought it was a friend pranking me at first, but he was legit. He knows about my fear of balloons, so we've settled on using a beach ball as a compromise. Every few months, I hump a beach ball fully clothed for a minute or two and make big money. He had a load of big blackheads and dilated pores of whiners on his back and he asked me to pop them and eat them. I declined. This same guy liked being pissed on being puked on and sticking his fingers up my nose and eating my snot. Also one guy asked me to shit in his mouth. Nope. Some weird ones. One client had a foot fetish and would spend his 45 minute session putting bulldog clips on the underside of my feet. It was pretty painful but I got paid well and didn't have to do anything physical with him. In the intro room the client told me he wasn't looking for anything physical but asked if I would walk on his back. Easy I'm in. Go into the booking and what he actually wanted was for me to walk on his back in stilettos, engrave in, fake, initials onto his chest with my heel, stomp on his genitals, walk on his face, spit on and demean him. It was actually one of the most horrendous things I ever did I'd rather duck a creepy old dude than ever take a booking like that again. I had a guy book an appointment. The screening and everything leading up to the appointment was totally normal. A few important things to note he and I were about the same age late 20s, and I do not advertise fetish. My brand is pretty much girl next door. I arrive, we chat a bit. Then suddenly he asks me to roleplay. Things escalate quickly as he wants me to be his stepmother and torture his balls. That appointment ended quickly. Not a sex worker but I used to live close to a goga bar in Thailand, I would eat in the same places as the workers there. Countless stories about men wanting to defecate on them or them doing it on the customers. One guy, he was very tall and wide. He rented all the girls in the club. Must have been 15 or so, they just had to lie next to him and cuddle for the whole night. Gave all of them a huge tip. Came in every night for two weeks. The bonus for me was that the place closed early and I did not have to listen to the crappy music every night. Not a sex worker but I had a guy ask me if I could get my dental records and read them to him. He also wanted to tell him how much pain was involved with my procedures. Another time right in the midst of things he asks if he can cath me. Duck I was out of there. Living in Athens, working for Peanuts, I lived in a cheap apartment in a seedier part of town. I got to meet all the neighbors over the time I was there. The lady in the basement was running a brothel. She was usually the only one working. Every Sunday three men, an old man, a middle-aged and young man would rock up and sit outside her door. One day, when we got on familiar enough terms I asked her, how come you entertain these three same time every week? She said it was a tradition among some Greek families, this one in particular that son father and grandfather would call into a brothel and have sex on the way home from church. They were sharing the same prostitute. I don't know whether it is generally a tradition or not, but it was with this family. I knew a guy who started doing foot fetish work on Craigslist because he had huge feet. 
he'd go to someone's house and they would worship and play with his feet while they jerked themselves off. No actual sex involved. Then it escalated to where he started pissing on customers. Then one day a man asked to get shat on. It was a nice sum of money, so the guy lay down on the floor while my friend crouched over him and dropped a hot, slippery turd in the guy's mouth. I dom online, well one client really gets off on the whole human toilet thing and it's going fine, I guess, make him lick toilets, degrading him, make him film himself so I can show other doms and they can all laugh at him cause he gets off on that shit, pun intended, but then he requests that I shit in a jar and mail it to him so he can eat it. So anyway, I know that's not incredibly wild, but it's the one that sticks out in my mind. Many years ago I worked security in a gentleman's club, every 5 or 6 weeks this one dude would come in and have a special request. Always the same request. So we put him and the lady in a monitored booth. CCTV so we can make sure there ain't no violence or shit. So anyway this bloke's request would be to have our lady with the biggest natural boobs to be completely naked and wearing red high heels. Then he would want her to jump on and generally grind slash stamp on his ball bag and dong, whilst making her boobs bounce as much as possible. He wouldn't get off until he was bleeding, then he wanted her to piss on him after he'd finished. Each time he'd be paying like 200 pounds for this. He was a strange dude, I definitely got the stalker feeling from him. Easy money for the lady though. I sold nudes of myself for a while. I got some pretty nasty requests. I also was a sugar baby. Kind of became one by accident. Guy was very much into me being his baby. So I did a lot of adult baby stuff for him which wasn't that bad. The worst thing he had me do was he'd give me an enema and a diaper then I'd give him a blow job and a full diaper. That got me paid. A lot. Was pretty gross though. Not one myself, but have a friend who is. We discuss regularly what the clients do, anonymously of course, as sometimes a cathartic way to deal with her work. While this isn't gross, it definitely was one the worst. So she ends up going to this guy's house who is about 60-70 years old can't remember age. When she gets there he tells her to put on a certain dress. She obliged, as sometimes clients want specific fantasies, and as long as it's not insane, have to let her know in advance, she obliges. He then takes her out to dinner and they have a wonderful conversation, and go back to his house. Now she was fully expecting to have sex with this man, but all he wanted to do was to put his head on her lap while he spoke. Eventually he spoke about his wife who had died recently and they have been married for 50 plus years since they were teens. Apparently she had died of. I wanna say cancer? The dress she wore was a dress the wife loved, but never had a chance to purchase, and the gentleman had said that my friend looked very much like her when she was young. Basically stayed there talking until he had his peace and paid her to go on her way. She said it was the absolute worst, not because of how disgusting or insane it was, but for how lonely she remembers the man feeling. She remembers him telling her he doesn't know what to do anymore, as he lost his best friend, Apparently they had known each other before they were married. I remember talking with her over a phone and could tell she was hurt slash affected by this client. She actually, off the books, called him slash met with him, never anything sexual, until his death a couple months later. Mentioned how he went in his sleep, and feels like by talking with her he was able to feel at peace enough to let go, she helped him arrange finances, finish a will, leave money to his children and grandchildren. He even tried to leave her money but she outwardly refused and returned it equally to his remaining family. Bye guy, not really a sex worker but when I was younger, I used to occasionally trade sex for cash with guys I met on Craigslist. One older man used to slather on lipstick before giving me oral he got off on seeing my dong and ass smeared with lipstick. Afterward, he would insist on cleaning me off with baby wipes. That was actually the most weirdly intimate part for me getting cleaned by him. Saw him only a few times, but scented baby wipes still bring back awkward memories. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.